Hi guys, it is Carol from Lily Rose Blue. And I have, <clears throat> excuse me, Astrid, Arnold, Amber, who has been a little ornery. Stay tuned. There will be another video um, and you'll see some of her onriness. And we have Angel, Asa, and Adam. It is Saturday, May 30th, and I want to welcome you. I also want to wish my nephew Brian a happy birthday today. Uh, I'll be nice and not say how old he is today. Also, pardon, sorry, I keep reaching, pardon the mess on my desk. I was crafting actually making some things last night and um I don't I didn't want to have to put it all away but I also wanted to do these videos that I'm going to do today to get stuff in theory out of my way pardon my voice this is allergy um boy allergies on steroids it is kicking me in the patootie um, it's just all in my nose uh, and sinuses. I don't think it's an infection. I do think it's allergy. Uh, my only other symptom is fatigue, which also goes with allergies. I don't feel bad otherwise. So, yeah. Um, however, my younger daughter, the, the one who lives locally, has influenza B, not A. So I did a little research to find out what's the difference between A and B. Because remember, I had influenza A in February and early March. And um, in theory, the symptoms are less severe. Although I would say my daughter would say absolutely not. She really feels horrible. Um, and I feel so bad for her. Um, she says her... You know, she's tired. She has a headache. Uh, cough, the cough is just relentless. Uh, her, She says her throat's on fire and her one of her tonsils is huge. And they did give her Tamiflu and a prescription cough medicine that's supposed to also be a little bit of an analgesic thro for her throat. So hopefully she she will feel better, but you know now we're not going to be able to get together for Easter like we had hoped. Um, yeah, and then also today, um, my oldest daughter and her family will be heading back from their trip to Utah, back to the Twin Cities. So, um, you know, obviously we want them to arrive safe and sound. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, what else? It's a beautiful 66 degrees here today and the sun is shining. We had some storms roll through roll through last night. Um, here where I live at, I mean, it was, it wasn't great, but it wasn't awful. In Cedar Rapids, which you've heard me talk about, not that far away. Sounds like the lightning and the thunder were just intense. And uh, lightning is suspected in a house fire in Cedar Rapids. So, yeah, it, it was not great. We are supposed to have storms again tomorrow. And tomorrow, and I mentioned this in a previous video, tomorrow being the one-year anniversary of the tornado that we had here locally last year. So I will quit. Yak in my jaws. Uh, I did go out and did and was doing some thrifting today, partly because um, I was anxious about the the women Hawkeyes. Uh, they are in the Sweet Sixteen. They are playing uh, a game right now against Colorado. Last I checked, they're ahead by thirteen. <clears throat> but you never know. 
I just, I've shared this too. I can't watch. It just makes me too anxious. So, yeah. So what you have or see in front of you, I have my eBay settings to watch for postings for World War II ephemera. Um, so this was one of those things. Now, technically... This isn't really about World War II. It's just happened during World War II. So you can see here the date is August 19th, 1942. Here's this sticker on here that says buy a WECO or WECO defense bond. Um, but really what these are are invoices. And they're still cool. Believe me, they're still cool. Hazeltine and Perkins Drug Store. Wholesale Druggist, Grand Rapids, Michigan. And this is sold to Harley B. Rice, Torch River Resort, Rapid City, Michigan. So, alum, poison wheat, Tums, cement for mending glass, seller playing cards, plain band-aids, small Alka-Seltzer, one-inch gauze. Here we've got pints of Philip Mac Milk and Magnesia, Brilliantine, uh, Hills Cold Tablets, Noxzema Cream, Beer Aspirin, School Medium, which I'm not sure uh, what that is, Bridge Playing Cards. Here's some smaller invoices. Again, these are super cool. Look at this craziness here. Toothbrushes. Tana paste, maybe. Sunburn lotion. And Anison. Oh, yeah, I remember Anison. Methylate or Merthylate. Alka-Seltzer. Brahm seltzer Absorbing Junior. Emery boards, hairpins. Yeah, so that's essentially the, the theme. Oh, cannot supply. Do you have any candy or gum? Cannot supply. Well, that's sad. Everybody needs candy or gum once in a while. Here it says, I ordered Taylor thermometer some time ago. Um, something of this when sold. I don't know. I can't. I can't quite read that. <clears throat> so, yeah. That's what this is. I will put a few in my 40s slash World War II. Well, I, I actually have both. Um, so, I'll probably just divide these in half or a third and then maybe use the other third for junk journaling, you know, in other junk journals. Then I went to a place that I do not typically go to. Um, I did this on the way back. Where is my, oh, here it is. Sorry, reaching, reaching. I had gone to the crowded closet. You'll see that in another post. Um, <clears throat> I went to a place that I hadn't been to in years called Houseworks. It is also a thrift store. Um, something just told me to go there today. I mean, I knew where it was. I just hadn't gone. So I'm going to show you <clears throat> what I got there. So the first thing I got is this little golden book, um, Margaret Weiss Brown, Seven Little Postmen. So you guys know my dad was a postmaster, and I plan to make a postal junk journal. So here, I, I again, I did not know this existed. So absolutely, this is going to be part of the journal. Airmail and train. Wow. 
The train carries the letters through gloom of night in a mail car filled with electric light. <clears throat> so this just traces the path of the mail. You've got the post office, you've got the rural carrier, and look, he's even delivering a pig. That's the side up. Wow, look. So fun. Seven little postmen carried the mail through rain and snow and wind and hail, through snow and rain and gloom of night, seven little postmen out of sight, over land and sea, through air and light, through snow and rain and gloom of night. Put a stamp on your letter and seal it tight. So I love that I found this. Just, I'm so happy I found that. I also found this. As you can see, it's called Toys. Sorry, I'm just going to triple check that I'm in. Yeah. And I mean, not only am I holding things on my lap, I have my phone plugged in. Yeah, I'm just asking for trouble here. <coughs> so this is called Toys, the base, Basic Science Education Series. This has got a stamp in here, Fort Riley Elementary School, Fort Riley, Kansas. This is by Ber Bertha Morris Parker from the Laboratory School at the University of Chicago. Um, 1950 edition. Original copyright 49. Yeah. So I just thought I'd show this to you. There were some very nice illustrations. Look at those airplanes and that glider. The parachute doll. Dark game. Balloons. Roly polies. And look. Old tape marks, you guys. Circus animals, Humpty Dumpty, Balancing Man. Set of wheels or gears, I would say. A pounding toy. The duck to pull, the dump truck, Jack in the Box. Yeah, so you get the idea. I just, I thought it was very cool. Um... They had so many different color price tags. I couldn't keep it straight. I looked at the sign twice. I think red and green were still full price and the rest were were not. So this is red. Um, I might sell this. I, I'm thinking about it. And then for some reason, this just caught my fancy. Um, I don't think anybody's going to make this pillow or whatever, but I thought the design was really fun and maybe something that people would want to have. So you've got your family of four, you've got Rover, and you've got Tabby as well. I just, I don't know, something spoke to me. And then look, you've got this beautiful chart. You've got obviously aged paper. Look at that. <clears throat> excuse me look at that pattern and it's still got the embroidery floss which looks great so again I'm going to have to decide if I'm going to keep this if I'm going to sell it if I'm going to sell it as part of a kit I'm not sure I, I am not sure yet this is a music book we've all seen these this is for a clarinet I used to play the clarinet. One of my granddaughters is learning to play one now. Um, so I love the fingering charts and I love the scales. And then, you know, anytime you can find music that's reasonably priced, I'm going to get it. And then this book is falling. It is real. Whoops, there it goes. It is falling apart. <coughs> Oh, I am so sorry, you guys. This is the Betty Crocker's Hostess book, Golden Press, Racine, Wisconsin. Uh, this is the sixth printing of 1973, original copyright 67. <clears throat> so it has great illustrations like this. Where are some of the 
Here's some great pictures, setting a table in different ways. Um, just look. I just, look at that cake. So cool. There's the full page. Look at that old, all the different syrups for your pancakes. The pineapple. Yeah. There's your deviled eggs and your baked beans in the bean pot. Look at this beautiful, uh, the daffodils and tulips. Yeah, so I got this. I knew it wasn't in great shape. Um, so I got this for myself to use as, um, you know, I could fussy cut some things or, pardon me. Yeah, or use it for uh, cookbook journals. Anyway, that is my haul from Houseworks and from eBay. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. Take care. Have some fun. Happy, happy Easter and God bless. Bye-bye.